Now, did you know 80% of teenagers get spots to some degree? And boys are more likely to get them than girls. But remember, don't squeeze them. Ouch. Spots. I used to get them. I still do get them. You're probably going to get them, and nobody likes them. But for some teenagers, puberty can make spots a lot worse. Clear. <laughs> so, why does puberty make spots worse? Well, imagine this is your skin, and there is a hair follicle with a hair growing out of it. Now, every hair follicle has a sebaceous gland, which makes a special kind of oil called sebum. And sebum's good normally. Keeps your skin moist, but during puberty, sebum levels can skyrocket, can block up the hair follicle and cause a spot. Everyone has to put up with the old spot now and then, but if it gets really bad, it's called acne. And if you have acne, there are special clinics on standby to help. I'm visiting a special acne clinic at Oxford University Hospital's NHS Trust. In charge today, consultant dermatologist Tess McPherson. What kind of things cause acne? I think there's lots of myths associated with acne. It doesn't mean you've got dirty skin. Um, other things which people always ask me about is diet. Um, there's not much evidence that diet plays a clear role. And if you've had a bad acne in the family, you're more likely to get bad acne yourself. Yeah. So there's certainly a genetics play a role. But the main cause is hormones. This is 15-year-old Josh. Hard to believe he had bad acne for a couple of years. I had it all over the face, the back, the neck, the other back of the neck, a bit on the chest as well. It wasn't very nice. But after seven months of treatment at the clinic with a tablet that stops the production of sebum, Josh is doing much better. Although he does have some leftover scarring on his back. So was your back probably the most severely affected area? Uh, yeah, definitely. So although that scarring does look quite dramatic at the moment, over time that will fade and those will end up going... Some of these ones which are a little bit bumpy will certainly flatten out over time. And now I've had the treatment, I'm a lot happier. As long as it cleared up on my face, I was pretty much happy with that. So don't worry, scars can fade. But remember, don't pick. If you're worried about getting spots when you're a teenager, then don't panic. In severe cases like Josh, Doctors can prescribe creams and tablets to help, but everyone gets some spots, and here's some tips. Apart from creams and medicines, you can help yourself by shampooing your hair regularly and avoid letting it fall across your face. Don't wash affected areas of skin more than twice a day, and don't pick them. 